Hi, my name is Jonathan. I'm a community reporter for Talk Broughton. There is a whole range of complex issues why different people from different communities are either inactive or not in work. One of the most important parts of the footage you're about to see is a section of research we did in the Orthodox Jewish community. This is the first piece of footage, research footage, taking a camera or audio equipment into the community. There are people out there who know their barriers and are coming up with good ideas about how to overcome them. This film is really an important piece of footage. Not only does it get to the core of what people are saying about their own barriers to skills and employment, but for many, it's the very first time they've been able to express their views. asked me, they said, sister, can you type for us? Do you know how to type? I said, no. I was really embarrassed. They reckon as high as 50%. I haven't got work in, on that, that live on that estate. My name's Jerry. I've just been made redundant in the last month. It's getting better now. And soon I will go back to work. Maybe some of it's some confidence. Not really sure how I like, how I'm going to get back into work. Some of it's apathy. I think some people are quite happy not doing anything. <laughs> My commitment was to get these kids, these lads off the streets and give them something to do. If they're busy, then yeah. they're not doing anything else wrong. The idea is to engage with them and get them to do something positive because a lot of them spend time in their houses with little to do. In my experience here in Salford, uh, where there were young people um, in the Duchy, in Broughton, in Langworthy, who've never been outside the five or six streets where they were brought up. But I think our job is to break that cycle. There's lots of other inequalities, so people don't get the same access to maybe education or employment. People do want to work, and other things they ask me, uh, these people again, is education. If, if they see some of their people are working at the moment, they can yeah. They can be motivated. It's sort of inspiration it's for them. There's just not enough space in the colleges to provide for the number of people that uh, need to be the training. One of the difficulties has always been to get an economic size of class for that. So there's the, the college will tell you we need about 14 or something in order to make the, the thing pay. So I think in Broughton there's lots of brilliant people, but they feel as if they're not important are not good. We've got um, something that I've called Family First, which has been coming in and has been tapping involvements with parents. First day, we cooking, <coughs> relaxation. And that's tentatively been successful, it's, it's, it's a start. Do a lot of the parents that access that tend to be some of the unemployed yes, parents? They do, they do. And it's, um, yeah, and the feedback I'm getting is that it, it's been a big boost to that confidence. We've run diversionary sort of holiday projects for kids, I think, 5 to 12. That's been really good. And then we've actually tried to sort of get a bit of interest from the parents to either get involved and do some sort of training. Having bases within the area, not just um, within a mile, but within five minutes' walk. If we would have a training scheme locally um, delivered at convenient hours. It's very local so I'm able to come. I can't commit myself to work in a college environment. As I said, I still have young children at home um, and this was just very ideal for me. Offering a holistic service, just putting a poster up there saying if you want help come here. People don't necessarily know that help is for them. So it's partly about um, researching our local market through our partners and tailoring those and bringing them into the community. And that's why, as my understanding goes, the success of some of the outreach projects has been as great as it has been at learning projects or um, other projects such as Sure Start. My name's Michelle Siffer. I'm the manager of the Herschel Wise Children and Family Centre. In an area of this nature means getting as grassroots as possible. We started an introduction to beauty therapy a year ago. By the end of this year we will have at least five women qualified in MVQ. The fruit platters were made by a lady who'd been on the fruit carving course here and then went on to open her own business from that with, with business support that we referred her to. We were very limited in the types of employment that they could seek. I think we're going to have to um, look at these sort of um, 
less, uh, if you like, the, look beyond the professions which have been the traditional domain of, 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 the, uh, of, of the Jewish community. So the, the vocational stuff, and I think IT training, programming, web design. More computer courses. I don't think people realise there's still an awful lot of people out there who haven't got computers. And new computers. Right. How are you finding that? Brilliant. Enjoying it. Absolutely fascinating. And is that down at the Broughton Trust? Yeah. Right. I love it. The older generation, 40s and 50s, they've been made redundant. They need retraining. Are you working at the moment or? No. So you're hoping to maybe get something at the, on the back of this course? Well, I'm going to see how it goes and it's all I can do yeah. because I've still got a lot to learn yet. Phoned up about a course from uh, the outreach, but I've got to wait till September to start a course there. Yeah. And there's nothing available till September. If there is any training available, that's not just lying on the website or whatever it is or in booklets in the council's office, they've got to come out and sort of offer it. We actually have um, a spare production time uh, through Monday to Friday. One of those giant uh, dishwashers, so you just do no, it no, by no, hand. No, 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 it's all yeah. done by hand. It's here. That's it. This is our giant dishwasher. <laughs> it's called Benjamin. Where's this going? At this stage, it would be very handy for us to be able to get two or three youngsters in uh, so that we could envisage utilising that midweek work, <coughs> uh, which our kitchens are dead in the water. I mean, they're just, they're just not open. This is the one lesson a week I do with adults. I think mostly it's a beginning for them. I think it's, it's a stepping stone onto something else. We do have one lady actually who's flown through everything I've given and I would employ tomorrow. 